room, it's okay. So, uh, you know, I was like, whatever, okay. I put on the bikini, waiting for her actions to be like, you know, hearing a grotesque sound. Um, instead, she was very just wowed. And so um, we decided to have a pool party at the public pool that weekend. And, and you went? I went yeah, in girl. the bikini. to everybody before that my brother Devin um, hey Devin he's a captain in the Air Force and um, recently I received a letter from Brigadier General Wendy Masiello and this is what she said to me she knows my brother dear Miss Banks I was delighted to see Talia in cycle 12 of America's Next Top Model it's inspiring to see a young woman with burn scars who has the courage to share her physical and emotional imperfections with the world my hope is that one day we will all see past the physical changes of our burned warriors to embrace the beauty that remains inside. Thank you, Tyra, for, for beginning to open our eyes and hearts through Talia. Most sincerely, Wendy Maciello, United States Air Force Brigadier General. And I was really touched by this letter from her. And General Maciello is here. Come on out here. Tyra. was so touched I've been talking to my brother like constantly he's so excited to have you here so when you saw Talia on America's Next Top Model what first went through your head Tara the first thing that went through my mind was finally finally we have an opportunity to see the preciousness of people who have burn scars mm -hmm. in Talia and that's something that your show has done very well you always bring the unusual beauty mm -hmm. to your show and when I saw Talia I thought this is what our wounded warriors need to see mm -hmm. and this is what our society needs to see on a more regular basis because you talk about the wounded warriors and that we see a lot of them that have, that are amputees now and and other uh, types of injuries but mm -hmm. they don't really show the survivors of burns that that's often right. that's right yeah and and my the reason why I created America's Next Top Model was mm -hmm. to show so many different types of beauty even if you look on the stage these mm -hmm. girls have different body types you know curvy skinny you know different facial expressions you see different colors of skin and it was so important for me to represent that it's important mm -hmm. for me to represent somebody even like natalie natalie that has hypochondria you know like there's it's so important to show that we are none of us are perfect and that there is beauty in imperfection and that's why you're an america's next top model because i find you to be so stunning <laughs> absolutely stunning. say that they can relate to what Tali has been through. Hi, Teresa. So, Teresa, you're a retired Air Force lieutenant, and you were injured in Baghdad. Yes. Tell, tell us what happened in Baghdad. I was deployed to go to Baghdad in October of 2004, actually in June of 2004, and I'd only been there for four and a half months, and I was going to go back in a month and a half, go back home, which I was excited about, and I was sent to the green zone in Baghdad and I was just waiting for my colleagues to get done with interviews because we were in Intel and I decided to go get something to eat with two of my other, the other agents that I worked with and a bomb went off in the middle of the cafe and it was the first time anything, oh no, I don't want to cry about it, um, the first time anything like that had happened uh, in the green zone at that time and I was I didn't realize what happened. Luckily, I don't remember the incident, but I ended up back in San Antonio in the hospital, and I didn't realize what happened until, like, two weeks later. And then I saw myself in the mirror, and it was just pretty devastating. Uh, what percentage of your body is burned? 30%. 30%. When you look in the mirror, what do you feel when your clothes are off? Well, I, when I first would look in the mirror, I was thought I was just really ugly and that a guy would never like me because I was damaged goods and it didn't matter how much more I had to offer and that's a lot by the way but um, yeah. and like I even in the, in the beginning I was like I look like Freddy Krueger if anyone even remembers Freddy Krueger anymore mm -hmm. but he was burned but now I like relate to him I'm like he's my boy uh, <laughs> 
Ellie. Ellie was burned at six months old. Um, there was a fire that started in her home, and uh, when the firemen came to rescue her, there was a backdraft that happened in the room that covered her in fire. But you are here today and alive, and that is the most beautiful thing about that story. Luckily. Um, and I know, Ali, you've been burned, what, 40% 40, 40 of your body? Mm -hmm. And so, tell me, when you saw Talia on America's Next Top Model, first of all, I know you were like, what is up with this girl? Yeah. Tell me what you were thinking. I thought she was crazy. <laughs> I, um, because I know, like, I never wear shorts. It could be 110 degrees out. Um, everybody's in shorts, and I will not put on shorts. Uh, I've gotten so used to it that I just won't do it now. Mm -hmm. And when I saw Talia walk out, I was like, you are crazy. <laughs> um, I, first of all, didn't think she was going to make it, no offense, because you're beautiful, <laughs> but, um... So to see her, and to see how far she got with America's Next Top Model, and would have gotten farther if her confidence was higher in the competition, did that give you, like, a little, ugh, like, wow, if she can well, do it, maybe I, I can? I have the most respect for you, because I know I can never do it, and you're going out and showing these girls that it doesn't matter, and... Well, I have a challenge. Uh-oh. You said that you could never do it? <laughs> and I'm asking you to do it today. Okay. Yeah. And it's gonna be a photo shoot, a glamorous, gorgeous photo shoot, and you're only gonna be wearing this, okay? <laughs> Strategically placed. strategically placed, not covering your burns, and you and Teresa are going to do it, and Talia is going to coach you. And then at the end of the show, we're going to show everybody your gorgeous photos. about my scars now. It's a sign of my strength and a reason I am who I am today. So go ahead and take pictures of it and uh, let's celebrate it. The finale of Cycle 12 of America's Next Top Model is on tonight. So be sure to watch it on The CW at 8 p.m. Now, being on Top Model is a very amazing opportunity, a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity, but sometimes the competition can really bring out the worst in people. So we wanted to do something special to reenact some of the biggest conflicts in cycle 12 of Top Model. Check this out. Little twist. Being on America's Next Top Model is an incredible experience. But when the competition sets in and you're living in the house with girls, it's a recipe for disaster. Here comes the drama and the fight. I learned a lot of lessons since my time on Top Model, and it's time for the girls of Cycle 12 to learn theirs. In our first piece, we ask the eternal question, does hair make the model, or does the model make the hair? That's what they're going to say to you. I just wanted extensions, all I prayed for. When I see folk, I, I, I see cuteness. Cute freckles, cute face. But cuteness doesn't make it in top model world. So I'm going to cut all of that cute hair off. Three, five, five. <laughs> was not expecting it at all. I'm the type of person that I just need time to feel used to my own skin. When I was little, I'd always hide who I really was. And that was the girl with no money with my mom. I never felt so ugly till today. I have to hide my hair to feel pretty. And this is what's going to break me in this competition. Oh, my gosh. Where did you get them? They are from a 
Senior Center. Oh. <laughs>